hey guys, uh, I don't really know how to um, talk about this, announce this. It's horrible. I'm really, really sad. Breaking news in the last couple of minutes or so. It's just been announced on social media. It was Shimmer Wrestling, an all-female women's promotion that's very well known. They've broken the story that former WCW and Impact Wrestling star Daphne has passed away at the age of 46 years old. If you were a fan of WCW or Impact Wrestling, you would have probably seen Daphne, made numerous appearances for both promotions, and also is a well-known female professional wrestler. Uh, Shimmer, as I mentioned, were first to break this story uh, about uh, at the time of recording now, about 20 minutes or so ago. Um, they released the following statement saying, quote, We are very sad to have to announce the passing of Shannon Spruill, a.k.a. Daphne Unger. We are posting this at the request of her family. Please respect their privacy at this trying time. And Lexi Fife, who was uh, reportedly Daphne's closest and best friend, said, uh, quote, I will miss you, my logical sister from another mister. It's just a really sad story. It's a really sad story. And I don't know if you can if you can tell, I, I don't really know how to react to all of this, because to be honest with you, this does hit very close to home. Um, there were really um, disturbing and um, horrible and sad images and videos or video rather going around uh, on social media last night which uh, at the time to be honest with you I didn't I didn't see I, I didn't see it because I wasn't awake at the time and I woke up this morning to see all of this and there was a, a lot of concern a lot of really serious concern unfortunately I had the misfortune shall we say of, of seeing that video and um, it sparked a lot of concern from a lot of fans and a lot of pro wrestlers and colleagues and friends and family members for Daphne. Um, the wrestling community was rallying around trying to get help, trying to get into contact with her after she shared a, a series of really concerning videos of herself uh, on Wednesday nights. Uh, this was on Instagram. It was on uh, Instagram Live, I believe. I'm not Obviously, we're not going to show the video and we're not going to... Um, discuss the transcript of, of what she said or anything like that. Um, frankly, the fact that that video was kind of being reposted on social media just is awful, but it's not the time to be talking about that right now. Um, reportedly, this is according to TMZ, police in Georgia have been trying to locate her or had been trying to locate her whilst uh, fans and fellow wrestlers took to social media in an attempt to reach her. After, again, these videos were also shared widely on, on social media as well. Uh, Sean Rossap, of course, a Fightful, uh, tweeted, quote, For those concerned about Daphne, uh, emergency services have been contacted and sent to her most recent uh, known address. Um, but obviously, things went a bit quiet and uh, people didn't really... Um, know what was going on. Sean Rossap then posted a follow-up tweet saying, quote, her family have been reached and have her current address. Uh, she'd moved in the past couple of weeks. Police have been dispatched. Mick Foley, of course, WWE Hall of Famer, uh, had attempted to contact her, but said, quote, my phone call went straight to voicemail. Um, he added, if anyone has a way of reaching Daphne Unger or knows her address, please help out. She's in a bad personal place. Um, and it was, you know, I mentioned I, I unfortunately had the the misfortune of of seeing that video um, last night, and it's just it's a horrible, horrible, horrible story. And as I mentioned, it does fit uh, hit very, very close to home. And obviously, all we can kind of do at the moment is share our thoughts and prayers to her family, her friends, her loved ones. It's. It's the worst and most heartbreaking news that you that you don't want to see. Whenever you see that kind of stuff on on social media, whenever you see those kind of images or those kind of videos, whatever they may be, this is the worst possible outcome. And it's the outcome you, you dread and it's the outcome that you don't want to see. And there's obviously so much stigma surrounding a mental health nowadays and... You know, we are. I I hope myself as someone, as I mentioned, this hits very close to home. As someone who, you know, me, I've been touched by, you know, mental health issues and that kind of stuff. Um, it's real. It's very real. You might not be able to see it 
you might not be able to see it when you walk past anyone in the street or anything like that, but it's very, very real. And whilst you can't see the invisible symptoms, you can sometimes see the physical symptoms. And, you know, you if you ever you find yourself in that kind of position, you have to, you know, to talk and, and, and reach out and remember that, you know, you, you are loved and you are cared for. And it's a really, really, as I mentioned, horrible, horrible story and a horrible, horrible thing to hear and as I mentioned it's it's something that nobody nobody when it came to this story when it came to those um images that we saw it's 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 so incredibly sad so incredibly sad and as I mentioned um the the only thing we can kind of do now as is the case um with this is you know reflect on her first of all first and foremost is is respect her family's wishes and her friends wishes and her loved ones wishes and that's to respect their privacy and give them some space and also it's important to reflect on the career that she had as i mentioned before she did have success in wcw she did have some success in in impact wrestling as well i know that didn't end the way that it should have and it did kind of get messy towards the end um but it's you know it, when we talk about you know the the modern day and, and social media and all that kind of stuff you know all of this is is real it's 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 very real and um if you can find anything out of this it's maybe to you know reach out to um a friend or a loved one or a family member even if you don't think you need to even if you don't think you need to because it goes both ways it's not just you know reaching out to them and seeing if if they're okay, sometimes it can help yourself as well. Just having that kind of um, you know connection, or just 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 talking to anyone, talking to anyone, and it's you know as I as I mentioned, it's a really horrible story. And for me, my sort of memories of of Daphne, because WCW unfortunately was a bit um, a bit past my time by the time. Uh, WCW had gone out of business I was still relatively quite young so I didn't have a um, a huge recollection of Daphne from WCW but obviously I was a fan of of Impact Wrestling in sort of 20, 2008, 2009, 2010, 2011 which of course when Daphne was there and I, I really enjoyed her work uh, truly I did really enjoy her work I enjoyed her work because I felt that she was so different I felt that she was um so different in what she in what she did and and how she looked and how she worked in the ring um she started off actually as a sort of parody of sarah palin at the time because it was a presidential year but then she went back to kind of uh, the more sort of gothic and sort of darker character that she was using in in wcw and uh, she had an affiliation with with dr stevie and um abyss as well and um it was when again she, that she had um i think she had a lawsuit against um impact wrestling because i remember i recall her being involved in that um in a monsters ball match i think it might have been at bound for glory maybe like 2009 or something like that and she took a really nasty bump through like a barbed wire board or something like that but you know again i always really enjoyed her work i enjoyed her personality i always enjoy um stuff that's different I, I really do and she also again had um with the alliance with with dr stevie it was stephen richards uh raven and i mentioned abyss during that whole feud and but it's it's, it's even now it's you know it's difficult to reflect on her career so much because i just you you think about sort of the circumstances that we're in right now and again it's just it's just horribly tremendously sad horribly tremendously sad and you know, I can just see in front of me right now, as we're seeing sort of social media's response to all of this, it's just, it's it's a lot of sadness. It's a lot of sadness and it's a lot of heartbreak. And as I mentioned, when I sort of begun the stream, you know, I can't, I can't even imagine, first of all, what their family are going through right now. And she was a, a great talent. And, you know, again, if you if you see this video or you see obviously the story on social media just you know remind yourself that maybe you know just reach out to someone if you if you ever have any concerns about anyone or you ever have um a feeling that maybe someone just needs someone to talk to them reach out or 
you know, whoever it may be, whoever it may be, and it might not even be needed, but all this kind of stuff, it's, it's, it's really real. And we have to keep talking about it. We have to keep smashing the stigma surrounding it. And we have to get to a place uh, where people feel comfortable talking and they don't feel alone or isolated or lonely. And we need to we need to keep again having the, this this conversation so cases like this don't happen because again once we saw those images last night it was just you know this is this is the worst case scenario this is the worst case scenario isn't it involving this kind of thing so um it's incredibly sad um what we'll do as i mentioned we'll um have a because there are so many tributes pouring into to daphne right now as i can see on social media so we'll compile them and put them into um, a video and um, to have a bit of a, a memorial for Daphne which I think is appropriate but incredibly incredibly sad um, Daphne uh, Unger passing away age 46 years old uh, Daphne rest in peace you'll be missed <laughs>